Hey there, if you're an R&B artist or music producer looking to learn how to get a decent vocal mix using stock plugins in FL Studio, then this is the right video for you. Because we'll be looking at how to tune vocals, how to EQ, how to compress, how to gain stage, and even how to align harmonies to make it sound really good using FL Studio stock plugins. So if you're new, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get started. My mind. And girl, you messing with my mind Can't call, but you popping on my timeline I'm so ready, baby, I need reply So reply Don't pull me on, and I need some reply We can't sit to win in the paybacks We can't talk through this alright Till it's alright, do it right you blow my mind My mind And girl, you messing with my mind Can't call, but you popping on my timeline I'm so ready, baby, I need reply So reply Pull me on and I need some reply We can't sit to win the paybacks We can't talk through this alright And it's alright, do it right okay. So let's solo the beats and the lead vocals Because we're going to start with the lead vocals And then we're going to try to tune the vocals first So I'm going to come to picture in FL Studio And then we'll set the key to B major now, when you're trying to use pitch art, the first thing you want to consider is the speed. That is the retune speed, okay? Now, most times when you leave it on fast, it may sound like it's too much. Let's hear how it sounds. So, that may sound like it's too much. What we're going to do is we're going to relax it. Most times, I stick within the medium and, you know, halfway in between the medium and the fast. So I'm going to just start from medium and here I sound and walk my way from there. Reply, so reply. Don't pull me on and I need some reply. We can't sit to win in the paybacks. We can't talk. And this is how it sounds when it's turned off. My mind. And get you messing with my mind. On. My mind. And get you messing with my mind. Can't call, but you pop in on my timeline. So we have that. Next one to do is EQ the vocals. I'm going to come to Fruity Parametric EQ2 and we're going to try to solve some issues on the vocals, the low end mod, the mid range resonance and I don't think there's any obvious harshness in here. So we're going to only focus on just those two parts and if we hear something else we may you know, adjust this point right here. So let's come right here, you come right click type, high pass, step 8 and then we we'll take it to about between depending on your mic and depending on the artist most times between um 80 to 140 hertz is like a sweet spot so you i just gradually and you listen my mind and get you messing with my mind can't call but you pop in on my timeline i'm so ready baby i need not reply so reply and boom then we're going to remove some resonance my mind and get you messing with my mind Can't call, but you pop in on my timeline I'm so ready, baby, I need reply So reply Don't pull me on and I need some reply We can't sit to win in the paybacks We can't talk through this So right, tell us all right, do it My mind And get you messing with my mind Can't call, but you pop in on my timeline I'm so ready, baby, I need reply So reply Don't pull me on and I need some reply we can't sit to win in the pay my mind and get you messing with my mind. Can't call, but you pop in on my timeline. I'm so ready, baby, I need reply. So reply. Don't pull me on and I need some reply. We can't sit to win in the paybacks. We can't talk through this. Alright, tell us alright, do it right. My mind and get you messing with my mind. Can't call, but you pop in on my timeline. This how it sounds when it's turned off. My mind and get you messing with my mind. Can't call, but you pop in on my timeline. When it's on, my mind and get you messing with my mind. Can't call, but you pop in on my timeline. I'm so ready, baby. I need reply. So reply. So I can hear the breath coming out more. And to remove that, I'm going to use Fruity Limiter. We use it as a gate. I'm going to come right here where it says noise gate and I'm going to adjust it in solo so that we hear. I'm going to come to this noise gate section right here. Okay. So we're going to adjust the threshold and then the gain. Messing with my mind. Can't call, but you pop in on my timeline. Messing with my mind. Can't call, but you pop in on my timeline. I'm so ready, baby. I need reply. So reply. 
So let's hear it now with the beats. Okay, you blow my mind. I know you mess all the vibes. Don't wait a do one more time. Really need you by my side. Alright, so the next we're going to do is compress the vocals. I'm going to come to compressor. I'm just going to adjust threshold. Most times I take it halfway, but I think this vocals is quite loud, so I'm going to keep it somewhere around minus 20 this time. And then I want a relatively fast attack. And then a ratio between four and five ratio one. Baby, I need reply, so reply. Don't pull me on, I need some reply. We can't say to win in the paybacks. We can't talk through this, alright, tell us alright, do it right. Okay, you blow my mind. I know you mess all the vibes. Don't wait a do one more time. Really need you by my side. I'm going to do a post EQ on the vocals. I can hear some low frequency energy coming back in there. So I'm going to come to type. I pass once again and then step eight. Baby, I need reply, so reply. Don't pull me on, and I need some reply. They can't say to win in the paybacks. And then I want to open up the high frequencies a little bit more, so I'm going to open this. Baby, I need reply, so reply. Don't pull me on, and I need some reply. They can't say to win in the paybacks. They can't talk through this, alright, till it's alright, do it right. You could hear the S's, you know, coming out, so I'm going to use Pacha to fix the S's. I'm going to come to the presets, you right click, and I'm going to come to this point right here. And then want intelligent DSR. And this is how it looks, and I'm going to adjust it. Baby, I need reply, so reply. Don't pull me on, and I need some reply. They can't say to win in the paybacks. They can't talk through this, alright, till it's alright, all right. This already sounds better already, we are even doing much on the vocals. So, but if you want to like trap it some more, you can simply increase the range and increase the sensitivity. And you can also increase, adjust the speed, you know, depending on how fast or how sharp you want the DSL to work. The next, I'm going to create a parallel send for the vocal just to make it, you know, have more body or presence in the mix. I'm going to rename this parallel box. Then I'm going to load up Fruity Compressor again. And I'm going to exaggerate the settings, take it all the way down because you really want to squash the vocals, take the ratio to about five or seven, ratio one, and then make it a really fast attack. Baby, I need reply, so reply. Don't pull me on, and I need some reply. And then we can simply blend it in right here. Baby, I need reply, so reply. Don't pull me on, and I need some reply. They can't say to win in the paybacks. They can't talk through this, alright, till it's alright, all right. Okay, you blow my mind. I know you mess all the vibes. Don't wait a do one more time. Really need you by my side. Okay, you blow my mind. Baby, I need reply, so reply. I'm going to come back to the the breath section. I feel like it's working a bit too hard, so I'm going to relax it some more. Baby, I need reply, so reply. Don't pull me on, and I need some reply. We can't say to win in the paybacks. I think that sounds good. Now, the thing with the breath plugins is that sometimes it's not catch all the breaths, okay? Even with third party plugins, sometimes you have to just come in right here manually and, you know, take them out if it's, if, if you don't like them being in there. So reply. Don't pull me on, and I need some reply. Like this right here. Don't pull me I could come in right here and just get my knife too. And then simply. Trim that out. Don't pull me on, and I need some reply. We can't say to win in the paybacks. We can't talk through this, alright, till it's alright, alright. And then next, we're going to move to adding reverbs. I'm going to create a send right here, and then we're going to load up Fruity Reverb 2. So, but before we use our reverb, we're going to type in our tempo in the free reverb calculator. You can just look this up online. Free reverb calculator is free to use. So just type in 100. BPM, then calculate. So I'm going to be using this big room preset right here, 37 and 2.4 approximately. Okay. This is the look at the top left of my screen. You can see hold control or command if your delay button is moving too fast, so you stay close. Right. So you can come as close as you can. You don't have to be on the exact number. Come as try to come as close as you can. Then 2.4. And then you want to take the dry all the way down and take the wet all the way up. Take away the base. You want to take the wet to about 100%. Then 
we we'll adjust it from the send. Before we adjust it from the send, this is how it sounds. So we're going to adjust it right here. Turn on the harmonies. I'm so ready, baby, and reply. So reply. So all we're going to do is we're going to add picture for each one of them. So I'm just going to come right here and then drop it right here so that each of the tracks get it. I'm going to pan them in opposite direction. So we're going to come to this picture. I think it's working too hard on the high pitch. So I'm going to relax it some more. And then we're going to create a bus for the backup vocals. Then then we'll come to track routing, come to create sub mix or route selected to this track only. That one is fine, but I'll just name this backup boss. We have this right here linked in here because we're going to start applying some effects like EQ, compression, and all of that good stuff, even reverb through the boss. So I'm just going to come right here and just copy these effects from the lead vocals. So I'm going to right click, file, and just drop it on the boss. Fortunately, it renames the boss. I'm going to just come to rename it again. Then I'm going to come to each of the plugins, take away picture because typically you don't want a tuning correction software on the bus. It may sound glitchy sometimes. But for the backup vocal EQ, this is where it's important. I'm going to take this to about 150 to about 170 hertz because you don't usually want your backup vocals to have as much weight as your lead vocals. But I'll also take away um, this the SR. So the breath is holding it, so I'm going to delete the breath plugin. I think it's a bit too harsh, so I'm going to take away some high frequencies. And then we're going to add reverb to the vocals. I'm going to create a send, then just load of fruity reverb too. And also referring to the reverb calculator, but I'm using a hall this time because I really want it to sound lush. So 75 and 4.7. So I'm going to come right here. 75 and then 4.7. Increase the size. Reduce the dry. Take the words to about 100. And so we have that right there. So let's hear how it sounds now. <laughs> Obviously, we're going to reduce the send. So to fix that reverb, we can hear the reverb like echoing. So we're going to use EQ and then take away some low end. Now that decay is way too much, so I'm going to cut it back to using the big room 
So let's come back here, 2.3, and then 35, or 37 rather. So take it to as close as you can to 37, well, 39, that can work as well. So here's how the song sounds. So here is how the song sounds before mixing. Here's how it sounds after mixing. And that's pretty much it how I would mix this song using stock plugins. If you found this helpful, like and follow for more.